Project 92 is funny speed motor. This project is very interesting. We are going to build the following circuit, which I already have, and turn on the slide switch. Look what happens is the color LED flashes and changes colors. The fan spins and stops at very weird intervals. <laughs> it sounds very funny as what the title says. That's because the color LED is controlling the current through the circuit. And also the transistor is amplifying it to power the motor. You could do this without the fan, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to wait until it comes to a complete stop. As the color LED blinks steadily, the fan motor is also turning on and off at quick intervals. Now what's interesting is that the LED and motor have their own power sources because the motor produces its own electrical impulses when it spins. And this could confuse the color LED since it's producing its pulses. So this circuit actually consists of two separate ones that are connected together. If you were to remove the color LED from the circuit, the motor will not spin at all. Or it will spin steadily when there is a connection. Ninety three is funny speed motor with light. I added the color the color LED with the positive side facing away from me between points A and B here above the Q two transistor, and we will now turn on the slide switch. You can see that the red LED is now on, but when I turn on the slide switch, it blinks. However, well, the red LED is on, the color LED is off, and then while well, the color LED is on, the red LED is off. But nonetheless, it's still being controlled by the color LED and transistor and motor. So I think that's why it is behaving in the opposite way of the color LED. And remember, the motor and color LED have their own power sources which are just connected together and the red LED is receiving the power from the source that powers the motor because it is on when the slide switch is off. Project 94 is Light Dance Audio Override. This project is very interesting, although when I tested it I couldn't seem to get it to work, but nonetheless I am going to demonstrate this project the best I can. We are going to use a music device, my iPod Classic in this case, and we're using the microphone. And I think this is the first project in this kit in which we're using it. I'm going to turn on the slide switch after I move the lever of the adjustable resistor about halfway. I have the fiber optic tree attached and I'm going to play music on it. It's recommended that you use a song that has a slower beat. So, I'll do this one. Now we will adjust the volume for best effects. Now the music is very hard to hear, but the light on the color organ is changing colors according to the beat of the song. Oh, now you can hear it. I had it on the lowest volume. But I'm going to lower the volume so that the circuit does not hear it as well and we're going to blow into the microphone. I'm going to keep the camera focused on the light while I blow into it. Nothing happens but what is supposed to happen is that when you blow or talk loudly into the microphone the 
LED on the color organ is supposed to stop changing colors. The pattern, in other words, would be interrupted by your blowing or talking. If you don't notice any difference, then they say you should lower the volume control on your music device. And of course, songs with a slower beat are best. I'm just going to try to blow into the microphone one last time. I don't think it officially works, but the LED is supposed to stop changing pat colors when I blow into the microphone or, in, or talk into it. That is all that I can say about Project 94. Project 95 is Light Dance Light Override. This project is similar to Project 94, except we are going to use the photo transistor instead of the microphone. And unlike the previous project, which if you uh, saw it, I was not actually able to get it to work even though I demonstrated it, I'll be able to get this project to work. And we are going to use the photo transistor and this circuit will be based on light instead of sound. And so I'm going to turn on the slide switch and play music on my iPod. As soon as I push the play button, I'm going to cover the photo transistor. I'm going to have the volume up all the way so you can hear it. And you can see how the LED on the color organ is changing colors due to the music. But watch what happens when I uncover the photo transistor. It just stays on one color, which is cyan, I think. Now when I cover the phototransistor again, the LED will begin changing patterns again. Uncover it, now it will stay red. The color pattern stops. That's because when I cover the phototransistor, and light cannot get to the phototransistor, resistance decreases and the circuit can, and the light can change colors. But the resistance increases when I expose the phototransistor to light and the pattern is disabled. So it's the same principle, but now it's once again relying on light instead of sound. 96 is counting light. We are going to use the color organ again and the phototransistor and we will put an attachment over it. I'm going to use the tower attachment this time. We attach the color organ to the circuit by using the red and black jumper wires and I am going to turn on the slide switch. The color LED immediately lights up but the color organ is not on. Now we will shine the color LED right over the color transistor and watch the color organ light. Watch the rate at which it changes colors. This is called a counting light because the color organ is counting how many times light turns the phototransistor on and off. And at some count levels the color organ light will change colors. Once again, now it's all based on the flashing and color changing of the color LED which I am holding. I'm holding it over the phototransistor. For best effects you should do this in a dimly lit room because sometimes it's hard to tell whether the color organ light is on or if it's just the glare from the color LED. 97 is adjustable counting light. We are going to use this project and you could see that we you can see that we included the strobe integrated circuit, the phototransistor and the adjustable resistor. We will turn on the slide switch and the white LED will begin flashing at a fast rate. 
and the adjustable resistor is used to adjust the rate at which the white LED changes, flashes. I'm going to put the tower attachment on the color organ. And I have to be careful not to knock this over. But we will hold the color LED, the white LED over the photo transistor and watch the color organ switch colors. And it does so at a steady rate. The strobe setting is at its lowest, but I'm going to move the RV lever to about mid-range. And now the colors change faster because the white LED is flashing at a much quicker rate, even though the resistor is only halfway. Now we will move it all the way up and look at how quickly the color organ switches colors now. The light on the phototransistor is what is controlling the changing of the color organ colors. If there is no light, then the organ will not light up at all. But when there is light, it will, and the more steady the light pattern is, the faster the color organ will switch. Now it's back at the, now the RV is back at the lower setting and the colors are changing at a much slower rate. 98 is bright off light. We are going to use the following circuit here and it is recommended that we either put the circuit in a dark room or cover the phototransistor which is right here. We are using the color LED and you can see that it is off now, but when I cover the phototransistor, the color LED comes on and changes colors. Now I'm going to take my hand off of the phototransistor and the color LED turns off. Cover it again and the LED turns back on. Now it's off. That's because as I, in this particular circuit, as I cover the phototransistor, resistance decreases, allowing the color LED to turn on. But when I remove my hand and light enters the Q4 component, resistance increases, turning off the LED. Kind of like a street lamp that turns on at night and off at day. And I explained to you that principle in the Project Automatic Light earlier on in this kit. 99 is RC blink and beep. We have this smaller circuit and we will need a remote control for this project. And you can use any remote control in your home that uses an infrared signal. And you can tell it uses an infrared signal if it has an LED, a clear LED on top on the front end. We will turn on the slide switch and the LED will flash and point, we will point the remote control at the infrared module and push any button. And look what happens. The LED blinks and the speaker makes quick no fast noises. Hence the name of the circuit. The circuit is blinking and beeping at the same time. Now be aware that, like I said for other RC remote control projects, the circuit may activate without remote control because sunlight and some house lights contain infrared. So the circuit may activate spontaneously and if this occurs, try moving to a dark room.